Hello everyone. Let's study about coherent sources. Coherent sources of light are those sources which emit light waves of same frequency, same wavelength, and are in same phase or they have a constant phase difference. Coherence is a very important condition to obtain interference of light because in case of light interfering coherence is a very very important condition to understand this let's recall what is a wave equation if you have a wave equation given as y is equal to a sin ax minus omega t plus phi in such an equation this a is called as displacement at any point at a time t a is called as amplitude of the wave x is the direction along which the wave is moving a is called as wave velocity which indicates as to how the wave is propagating omega is called as angular frequency from which we can obtain frequency and phi is the phase initial phase constant or initial phase difference or initial phase of the wave this is what is a wave equation if you have two waves superimposing if you have two waves which have certain parameters they we called as y1 is a1 into sin kx minus omega t and we have one more wave where y2 is equal to a2 sin kx plus omega t plus phi now in this case this wave would move along the plus s direction and this wave would move along the negative x direction observe carefully in these two waves that they have different amplitudes but they have a same frequency and also they have a constant phase difference remember for omega if the waves are same frequency and if they travel in same medium they'll have same wavelength also so frequency wavelength would be same in the same medium and this phi means a constant phase difference these two are said to be coherent sources so keep in mind that the amplitude could be same or it could vary also so in some cases the amplitude of the two waves could be same or they may vary also but coherent sources doesn't worry about these things rather what is required is the two sources or the two waves should have same frequency same wavelength and they should have a constant or they should have the same phase difference these are called as coherent sources but practically if we use two different sources that is if you use two independent sources then these sources cannot cause us interference that is because if you have two different sources example think of two bulbs of the same brand example think of this as 30 watt bulb and this also 30 watt bulb of the same brand think for example it's like a Philips bulb and even this is also the same brand the same color also so we would assume that since the bulbs are the same brand and same white and same color we think that they should have same that is we think they should have same amplitude they should have same frequency they should have same wavelength and also a constant phase difference but practically in such ways we cannot guarantee a same wavelength or rather we can't even guarantee a same phase difference because the wavelength of a source is not a constant it could vary also the wavelength what we get is its average value for example imagine that this source emits light of certain wavelength then what we talk about is its average value that may change Assuming that even that also remains constant, then the phase of the two waves will definitely change because phase depends on when they are excited and emitted. 
think of a case where in case of say source 1 and think of source 2 think of source 1 where some atoms or molecules are excited example some molecules have been excited from here to here and they'll de-excite now it is not that all the molecules here and all here will de-excite at the same time only it will not happen example here some molecules will excite some will de-excite means you can't guarantee that the molecules will have same excitation or same de-excitation because of this reason and also when it excites or de excites is not in our control because of these reasons even though we have two bulbs of similar build similar quality and similar attributes phase will not remain will not be a constant therefore two coherent sources cannot be obtained from two independent sources so in such case to obtain coherence we need two light from the same source which means if you have a single source of light then if this emits a wave then by some mechanisms then by some means they can break into two parts so in such case if you call them as say a wave one and wave two for these two waves they will have same frequency the same source they have same wavelength and also they have constant phase different because what is coming is from the same source only. So the only practical way of obtaining two sources which are coherent is by dividing a source into two waves. This is done in many ways. The simplest way is something called as division of wave front that is done in something called as Engs double slit experiment we'll do it later for now understand that two independent sources cannot be coherent and therefore we take a single source and get two waves out of it this is called as coherence in case of light